Are you a drummer? <laughs> a bad one. It doesn't have a brain. Oh. Still though, for five bucks, hard to go wrong for that, right? Right, right. you can buy a brain. You gotta dig to find the best stuff. Yeah. 
Move this out of your way. I'm fine, sorry. Fine. I'm just looking. You're all right. That'd be great, yeah, yeah if you don't mind. What you want me to take? Actually, just this would be perfect. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. I'm not, I'm just grabbing the, the hockey thing. Yeah, itself. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's just, it's crazy I, I appreciate that. No All right, let's, uh, Sorry. maybe they'll let us make a pile up here. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. No I saw you over there, man. No sweat. Okay, so where am I at? Excuse me, sorry. I didn't see one anywhere, no. Oh my god. Whoa. I got a bag full of stuff too. Okay. Get up over here. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Sure. $37. $37. Oh, sorry. There we go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Back at the shop, and that church sale was absolutely amazing. I just kept finding more and more stuff everywhere I went, and the prices were great. Most things weren't even priced, and they were just kind of working me, working me a deal at the end, and I was totally okay with it. I guess I can just start with these posters. I found a bunch of posters. Um, again, I don't remember, like, you know, per price how much everything was, but I remember I paid 37 for everything, so... Just keep that in mind as we're going through stuff. Um, so these were in some tubes. I just said like children's posters. So I just threw them in the bag. They're not anything special. I don't think they have value. So I wanted to show you at least what it was. However, this one is a double-sided official movie poster of the uh, Sorcerer's Stone, uh, the Harry Potter movie from 2001. And this one's selling like right around 50 to $80. So I was thrilled to get that. Got this really cool like swing arm lamp. The reason I grabbed it is because it's red. Anytime you find cool vintage stuff like this, the color is always gonna help it sell, like rotary phones, whatever it is. If it's got a cool color, it's gonna help it sell. I paid five for this, and I saw some sell between like 50 and 70, but then some didn't sell, so I don't know. I don't think I can go wrong with five bucks, but I'm hoping it works. All right, we're gonna come down here. I got this uh, sugar container. It is missing the uh, little, you know, the top piece. Uh, but anytime you see these, if you've got, if there's a set of them and they're cheap, go ahead and grab them. This one's Lincoln Beautywear. I'm not sure that I can really get much for it since it's missing the top. I just grabbed it and, you know, it was cheap enough. Speaking of not a great pickup, I saw this camera and I was like, okay, this looks nice. I didn't look that closely because I was just throwing stuff in my bag. But you can see 
the damage there. So not a great buy. I don't know if it can be fixed or what, but I was pretty disappointed when I saw that. Um, let's see, I got some vintage Cincinnati Bearcat uh, seat cushions. These are super cool. It's the old logo. I got this interesting ESPN Hallmark plaque without sports weekends would be weekdays. This doesn't really have much value. I just thought it was neat. I might be keeping that. I got some DVDs for a dollar each. These are just going to go to my personal collection. I got this King Cobra Baffler. This is a uh, driver head cover. Um, generally, I can get about 15 bucks for these. Got some vintage glassware. 1979 uh, US Open and Vernus Club. Um, it's like eight or nine of these and then like some other random ones didn't see any sold so not sure these were a great buy uh, but this i do think was a good buy this is a uh back massager i've always done well selling these i can typically get about 25 or 30 bucks for them and last but certainly not least this was my best find at that sale this is a 90s nerf bash it is back alley street hockey it's got all the players it's got all the pieces it's got the little balls here and you know the little things to actually move the players around and this thing is pretty rare there's only one or maybe two i think listed on ebay and there's a couple sales uh between like 125 and 300 dollars. i'm super excited about this one i think i got it for five bucks what's really cool about this is i already had so much stuff i was figuring out how am i going to carry this thing out and lo and behold this guy comes up like hey would you need a hand i was like absolutely he didn't work there but i was still Super grateful for the help. That was so nice. This thing takes uh, three C batteries. I don't have any batteries on me, so I'm going to have to go to the store and get some and uh, test this out and see if it works. So the two current listings, one's at $195 and it's an auction, and then another one's like $500, but the one that's $500 is brand new sealed. Um, the $195 is pretty much what I have. So I might list this around $200 or best offer for a bite now, something like that, but it's going to be a pain to ship. <laughs> this thing is huge. It's, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to disassemble the thing. I'm not really sure exactly how to go about that. But I do think there was an owner's manual somewhere. Yeah, so this is actually how I even knew what it was to begin with. Because I couldn't see this bash thing when it was underneath that table. I had to, like, get this out and open it up to figure out exactly what it was i was looking at so maybe these instructions will help me uh disassemble it yeah nerf bash hockey yeah really cool really cool piece excited to uh get this listed and hopefully sold soon that is it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you next time